Hey guys, welcome back to Mace RC Elite. I'm Mario, and this is more for the Phantom 4 Impact that we got going on here. So today we're just gonna talk about the main interface for the camera, the controls, all that stuff. So it's gonna be pretty interesting. So if you wanna come over here, you can see just the main view of the camera on the Phantom itself. There's a lot going on right here. It can be very overwhelming. So up here, press this, go back to the main. Super simple. Hit camera, brings up the camera on here, and you see all this stuff up here. This is all your signal strength with satellites, the remote control, the HD for the camera, the battery life actually for the battery that's in the drone. Right now it's at 96%. And then you look over a lot of other stuff on here, like what's ISO, shutter, this is all stuff for the camera, like shutter speed. And then all the camera settings will be over here on the side. You can switch it over by pressing that to video. Hit uh, the red button for recording. There's also a button on the controller itself. Flip it back for camera. And then this right here, you press and it goes into in-depth settings of the actual camera. So right now this is just for pictures and manual focus or autofocus. It'll change that just for you. Go back over, it'll go to the image size and then what format you want. So we have it on JPEG for just a standard picture. And then over for some more, for some 3D noise reduction, just other advanced stuff for that. And then if you do that and switch it back over to video, it'll do the same thing, go over. We are actually filming in uh, 1080p, 48 frames per second. You can go up to 120, slow motion, things like that. Super simple. And then other than the camera settings, if we go back, you can press right here to uh, see all your extra clips that you have. Our memory card is empty, so that's always nice. Go back, and then over here you will see uh, take off, and then return to home, and then this is all the other stuff you can do, like active track, tap to fly, or uh, point of interest, like going around something. So those are very, very helpful, especially if you don't know how to fly the best. Tap to fly is a easy way to fly. DJI itself claims that a three-year-old can fly this drone with tap to fly, so it's pretty simple. And then for the return to home, you can either press it right here or on the controller right next to the power button and it will go back to where you took off from. And the nice thing about that is you can have a set uh, distance on how high you can go up for avoiding obstacles, buildings, trees, power lines, and stuff like that. And in order to set that up, you go up here, there's three dots in the top right corner, click that, and you have all these extra settings. Just go through each one of them. Right here is going to be all the settings for flying modes. Like right now, I believe we have it set in uh, the P mode on the switch, which is gonna be on the back of the controller over here. And then you can set it into sport mode, which allows it to go to its top speed, 45 miles an hour. You keep scrolling down, and then here's the uh, return to home altitude right here. So right now we have it set to 50 meters. So when you hit retur return to home for this drone, it will go 50 meters above the ground to avoid any obstacles that are going to be in its way to land safely. And then you can go over and this is going to be all the uh, sensors that it has. So I switched every one of these to be on so we can avoid crashing as much as possible. So say you're flying forward, you're coming towards a wall. It will hopefully stop it. They say it will. I've tried it once. It worked. It's, it's a little uh, nerve wracking for it. But other than that, you can go around other objects and things like that. And then right here, if you go to the next one, this is for the controller. On the back of it, you have two little buttons. You can customize them to whatever you want. Right now, we have it uh, for a camera forward down, which is the only one I really use. So you hit the C1 button on the bottom of the controller, and the camera that uh, is on the drone will immediately face directly down. And if you press it again, it will go back up just for FPV flying go to the next one this is all the HD signals that are going through from the camera to the uh, actual monitor that you have iPad or whatever you're using and uh, it will warn you if you're losing signal and one nice thing too is if you lose signal you can have it set up in the settings where it'll just return to home where you took off which is very nice and then all this is going to be the aircraft battery it'll tell you how much you have left how many times you've charged and how much it can actually hold and then you can set up right here when it's going to warn you have a low battery percentage, which is really nice. For the uh, drone itself, we have it set up to 10%, so once it gets really low, it'll start beeping and beeping and beeping and tell you to land, which it's common sense that you need to land. 
And then right here are going to be the gimbal settings. So you can just center the camera, adjust the gimbal roll, and then the gimbal auto uh, club, uh, sorry, calibration. And then you can go down one more, and this is gonna be some more general settings that you have, and uh, slow flight uh, route that you have. This is really simple stuff. And then I believe, let's see here, home point settings. So for the camera settings itself, if uh, your drone ever doesn't calibrate to keep its home spot, you can manually uh, calibrate where it's at, which we'll show you in another video once we go to take it off for flight. I'll show you how to do that, but it's super simple. Mainly, it will just calibrate itself so you don't have to worry about that too much. Other than that, those are all a general idea of all the other settings that you have. And then over here on the bottom right corner is going to be GPS. It's going to show you your home point that you have for where you took off. And if you fly anywhere else, it'll track wherever the drone is and come back whenever you need. And then uh, over here on the side, back uh, from where the return to home is, up here is going to be takeoff. So this is the easiest way to take off if you're new to flying. You literally just slide it to the side like that and we'll get ready for takeoff. Takeoff. stops immediately since there's no props on here but that's the easiest way for sure I use that a couple times not so often because it's pretty easy just to take off from the controller it's not that hard but it's very useful for sure and then if you go back over to the actual little drone button right here as I showed you earlier it's active track tap to fly so active track is gonna be super easy let's see it won't let me since we don't have props on but basically what you do is you will highlight an object wherever on the screen and it will just track that object and follow them wherever. It may lose signal and that will it will just stay in its spot and hover right there and then you can easily highlight the object again or take over manually. Other than that, these are the easiest things to memorize for just the display itself for the drone and uh, if you want to look into it some more, there's definitely stuff on DJI's website or just let us know in the comments. But other than that, we'll catch you next time and we'll show you taking off and flying. Thanks for watching.